Hello, um, you may know me from uh, FTX uh, DVD TV 100 FTX shows. I'm in it and hold the man as he chose the man. I'm one of the two main people because there's other two of us. Um, my name's Kevin Howie, and uh, over the next, I'm gonna every not every day, not every week, every now and again, I'm gonna do a video of my. My opinions and views of the week, and then I'll, I'll just let you know who I am. Kevin Hoy, 21. Uh, I am 25 percent Scottish and the rest Irish. 25 percent Scottish. I am in. I am learning to be a technician. Uh, well, working IT labs, computers. Uh, I'm good. Uh, lots of things. Very odd writer. Right now and again, it's not that good. But I like it. I like odd stuff. I like animes, I like movies, music. Bowie, Dave Bowie's my favorite singer. Me, loves one of my second favorite singers. And it's kind of down there. Down, 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 down. I'll talk more about this over the next coming. Well, for the next coming, this is gonna be called Howie Talk One. Howie's Episode One, whatever. Um, I'll I'll start with. Well, I'll start with that. I'll start with my uh, my religious views. I don't bring this up at all, and I try to, if it ever comes up on the show, stop it, knock it on the head straight away. Uh, I don't want to be like that with a show, because we could lose a lot of fans in America. So this is why I'm doing this on a completely different station, completely different show. Um, I'm... When I was 14, I was in religion class in my second year. I was in the second year, I don't know what that is in America. Uh, it was my... Eight year in school, and we were in religion one day, and someone said in the class, we were talking about God and Eve. Ah, oh, that means that makes us all brothers and sisters. That that stopped me in my tracks straight away. At this point, I never kind of believed in a um, a God or a devil. I, I was too open minded for everything. I don't care. I hate like racism and. Fine for gays, lesbians, transvestites, I don't care, I'm fine with it. I can see a, I could, if a seven foot transvestite was walking on the street, I would just say hello. I wouldn't go, what the fuck's going on, I'd just be. So, when they said that, I was walking on the stairs to the next class. I think we had uh, art, no, we had music next. And this was on my mind for months and then I realized it was late that day I just went I don't really I don't I don't really believe in God at all my view but I don't really believe in him at all. Uh, I didn't know what age this was till I was seventeen. So the next few years I, if it ever came up I'll just pretend oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah yeah that guy yeah I believe in him. No problem yeah yeah he's he's a good guy he's a good guy. Um I don't know how long my battery's gonna last, but I was 17 and I was watching a Super Ricky Gervais, and he said he was an atheist. I didn't know what atheist was. I looked up what atheist was. Atheist was someone who doesn't believe in God or goddess, gods, or deities in any form. Or I was like, oh, that's me. I'm, I'm an atheist. And it took me a while to tell my family. And I basically went to my man's one day and was like, how, how do you change change religion? What do you mean? Well, how do I change from Christian to this? Well, well, nothing. Now, my older brother is ages me. You, my older sister is ages me. Oldest brother isn't. He's Christian. He's mad Christian. And it was a long time to talk with my dad. And it was kind of my older brother kind of realized, oh, he, he's ages. He doesn't care. But Ireland and England is fine with that at this point. There has been a few people who've gone kind of real ridiculous when I've said I don't believe in God at all. Like it's a, a, a story, a ridiculous story with so many plot holes and time problems and New Testaments and wars and bloody wars and terrible, terrible things they've done in the name of God. Well, it's just disgusted me. Uh, the, uh, Jesus always depicted as a white 
guy with brown hair when he should be a very tanned man with black hair. I don't even believe Jesus ever existed in that person. Or nothing. And if he did, he was a really bad thing. Because in the Bible, um, he was bad to his man. He wasn't good. He wasn't a nice person to his, his man. He was an asshole, really. I'll get on that on other videos. So I've been made this since I'm really 14, 17. I'm 21 now. America scares me sometimes. I watch a documentary called Jesus Camp and Debbie Tordine and God's Savior or something and it was fucked up. I'll try to find the links to accept put on the details. Well, a lot of things in America have been saying over the last few years have just annoyed me. I'd like to see a non ageist a uh, non religion uh, person become president of the United States. Obama only joined a, pres uh, a church when he was going for um, becoming president. You need to be a part of religion. I think that's a little messed up. Uh, see, I don't know. I talk more about this or my opinions. But I just... I, I listen to a podcast called Weird and Fire and Common Sense. And it makes sense. A lot of sense. Like, um, if America... America is... 14 trillion in debt. If they legalise marijuana, they'd get 2 billion extra a year. That would sort itself out. 14 trillion or 2 billion extra. You just sort marijuana. Just go for marijuana. Uh, I know I only have like 15 minutes as a video, so I'm gonna keep this short. Um, I do want to do it. Let alone just get your shit on me. Um, America a few months ago got rid of the don't ask don't tell. The don't ask don't tell is if you're gay you get kicked out. Yeah, they got rid of it. It's been it's only yeah it's only like a handful of people who's actually been fired. I actually thrown out the army because of it. Yeah, because they're gay or lesbian or whatever. But they got rid of it and they brought it back after seven months, I think. And. People have said, once they got rid of it, well, blackboards died, so God was sending the message that, oh, no, that's wrong. Americans don't really believe, 14% of Americans, that's 310 million. I think it was last since it's 310 million. Uh, 310 million people in America, and only 14% of them actually believe in evolution. Evolution, you know. We evolved from a small one cell organism, organism to this multi cell organism, which is very complex and confusing. So, Americans still don't believe, some Americans don't even believe the world is only 10,000 years old, even though it's 4.7 7 billion years old. The human race has been on it only a couple of million years, and we're probably going to be extinct in around 2 million years. The sun will blow up in 14 billion years. The sun's already been there for a couple of billion years. The universe is only around for like 20 some billion years. And it has a couple of billion years left. They don't believe in fucking global warming. I, I always think that's amazing. They don't believe in global warming. There's been there's parts of this planet that hasn't rained in two million years. And they don't believe in global warming. You just I've been to conferences on the North Pole and South Pole of the ending. Well, probably be the South Pole or Antarctica. Hmm. That's where they dig, dig down and they show what the ozone layers, the hydrogen layers, well, what the atmosphere was like. That. And it's always gone up and down, up and down, and up and down. But now it's gone. It's been steadily going up for the last, I think, 50 years. And they're not really doing anything. Yeah, wind power and all this. So there's a movie, there's two, three documentaries called Zeitgeist. I'll have. Uh, I'll have links in the description below, they're free to watch online, and there's a few documentaries I'll be advising you all to watch, as I'm going to kind of cut this up, I'll have more to say about uh, my views of atheism, there, I don't want to keep the show on atheism, I, I want to keep the show on weird, Ameri uh, things I find out are just weird, um, so, I've been, me, I've been Kevin Howie, this has been my first episode and I'll see you I don't know when I'll see you
maybe a week from now, maybe tomorrow, maybe right after this, or a few months. And this means the whole brand. Hopefully, I don't. I haven't even made a stage channel yet, but bye.